Hey again YouTube, um, this is another video on my image tracking. Um, I've updated it a little bit, um, made the screen a bit bigger, um, cleaned up the light in the background, it's a little bit darker outside so I have my overhead light on right now, um, room light, and I got a brighter light stationed right behind the camera, as you can see right there. Um, and yeah, if you notice here, I also took this notebook and I uh, made a stupid little, you know, mock-up of the, uh, exam, or not the exam, the uh, competition backboard setup here. Um, obviously it's not tracking anything right now because everything's bright on the screen, but it's great. It does track from really far away, um, like that, keep that up there, and it's pretty accurately in the middle, consistently. Um, you know, you can't really get much ac more accurate than that. Uh, obviously, the webcam is not very precise. It's only, yeah, actually, the, the resolution of this thing is only 120 by 160 pixels, but um, it can still hit that, and that's a 1 to 35 mock-up, or about that. It's only roughly measured. Um, so, well, it tracks. Um, our intention as a team is to have uh, double webcams like this, only better resolution. We actually have their uh, 16 times the resolution. Um, we're going to set them up a couple feet of, uh, two, I think, one and a half to two feet apart, and we're going to tr pretty much triangulate our distance to uh, the board using this vertical line here, um, which stays fairly, you know, fairly the same throughout the whole thing. Um, um, when it's far away, obviously the data can get thrown off here, though it's still pretty good until you put something like this in the way. Um, you know, it, it can't track everything that well, but like right now it's tracking my face. Um, there's really nothing. Yeah, it's really bright. Um, there's really nothing I can do about that for now, but uh, it's pretty accurate. At least while there's nothing there, we're gonna eventually fix this up and. Um, get a color filter on this light here and uh, then we can filter out things by hue too so it won't just be you know bright white um, we might actually use UV if it comes to that but uh, thanks for watching